Sinadi scored an interview with Panasonic about thermal considerations in designing a camera, and we've got news on the Canon Speedlight EF10 coming in 2021. This and more after the intro. Hi, I'm Simon. Thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Filmmaker. Subscribe to get notification of new videos like this one so you don't miss any news, rumors, gear reviews, or tutorials. And to make things more exciting, well, I'm giving away a brand new Canon EOS R5 full-frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. Details are in the description down below, or you can watch this video here. Please look at the terms and conditions as there are some age and location restrictions. CineD interviewed Panasonic's Matthew Fraser. Now, the sole subject of this interview was overheating thermal considerations. I really encourage you watching the video after this, uh, but Matthew said that the biggest pressure on the camera comes from the image sensor and the processor, but video demands such as 10-bit 422 put great demand on the cameras, as do technologies like IBIS, which essentially has the sensor floating in space. Panasonic says they design their cameras to operate within a given temperature range, which is minus 10 to 40 degrees Celsius, which is about 14 to 100, 104 Fahrenheit. Now to them, that means that it must be able to deliver without overheating on cameras like the S1H. But for cameras like the S5, which are a little smaller, he said that there just isn't enough space to cool the camera quickly enough to meet the temperature requirements limiting record time. Now, this is the reason for the 30 minute record limit on that camera. They want to ensure that customers get a full 30 minutes in temperatures from minus 10 to 40 degrees Celsius without any risk of losing data. It's part of their principles. Now, it has something to do, it, this has absolutely nothing to do with European legislation, which I debunked in yesterday's video where I did a review on the Canon R5, the R6, and the EOS R. This is a good interview. I really like it, but I do wish Johnny had gone to some questions about their strategic shift towards video and asked them if they're ever going to get off their contrast detect autofocus system. The Canon EL1 announced in October will be released in February for 11, sorry, 1099 or $1100. A more affordable speed light, the EL10, will be announced in the second half of 2021. Sadly, no details on specs. A few days ago, Christopher suggested that I replace my plant, the live one that I have, that I keep taking from upstairs and bringing downstairs, with ones from Amazon. That's it right there. What do you think? Now, it's not as bushy as the previous one that I had, the live plant, but I'm no longer taking that poor thing up and downstairs. It can't survive in the basement because I don't have the lighting. And every time I take it upstairs, it's hitting the ceiling because it's a pretty big plant. So I think it wouldn't survive very long. So I'm trying this one out. I think it looks pretty good, Re you know, really up close. It looks like a real plant. It looks very realistic, but I'm just not sure if it's bushy enough. Let's just see if it grows on us. What do you think? I could always add more plants to it, add a bit more bushiness to it and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, that's it for that. Uh, another little bit of behind the scenes. I want to talk to you guys about this hat. So I can't give you a lot of details, but I am working with a company right now um, and I'll make more of this available soon. Um, I really wish I could tell you more. It's pretty exciting because it's more than just about merchandising or merch, as the young ones like to call it these days. I think that what you're going to see in the next month or two is some really big opportunities for The Ordinary Filmmaker. I'm partnering up with a company that is about to, let's just say, provide or help enhance the customer experience or user experience of this channel. So look for really big changes in the coming months. But the one thing we're working on right now is trying to get some merch out there, uh, some hats. I'm thinking of also some golf shirts. I wear golf shirts a lot. I wear them into the office. I, I just don't wear a lot of t-shirts anymore. No, no, I'm just kidding. I still wear a lot of t-shirts, but if, it, if it's anything business-like, if I'm doing stuff for channel, I find that um, golf shirts are a little bit better. So I'm looking at doing a, a golf shirt, a nice, comfortable golf shirt uh, with a simple brand, like maybe right around here, like Lacosta has their alligator. I'll just put the Ordinary Filmmaker, get some hats, but also some t-shirts and some hoodies. Uh, if you've got any suggestions on merch, then let me know in the comment section down below. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. Don't forget to take a look at the video review that I did of the R5, the R6, and the EOS R together. Don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win the Cinco Lav S6E and M3 shotgun microphones. I'll be awarding these two prizes to one lucky viewer once the channel reaches 20,000 subscribers. And I'll be offering up a different and more expensive prize every 10,000 or so subscribers until we reach 100,000. At which point, 
I'll be awarding a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. And on that bombshell, thanks so much for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. If I don't see you before Christmas, happy Christmas and happy Boxing Day. Oh, and if you'd like a chance to win an extra entry into the Canon R5 contest giveaway, be the first to tell me what Boxing Day is without quoting Wiki. Tell me in your own words what Boxing Day is. And for those of you in the uh, in England or former British colonies, you probably know this. But for those in the United States, you may not be aware of what Boxing Day is. And despite what some might think, it's not about wrap, taking all those things you got for Christmas that you don't want and putting them back in boxes and returning them. That's not what Boxing Day is about. Although when I was a kid, that's what I thought it was about. Anyhow, thanks for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.